Vashtor the Arcfane has emerged. The insatiable curiosity of this demigod of science has brought him to a forge world under the control of the Adeptus Mechanicus, where he looks to run some dark experiments with his technological horrors. Belisarius Call himself has come to face Vastor as there's only one machine god, the Omnissiah, and Vastor, baby, you ain't it! This is 40k in 40 minutes, Techno Battle! Welcome, 40K fans. Your host, JT McDowell here, and boy, howdy, have we got a barn burner for you. Mubin is piloting a Tycho-style word bearer list with the demigod of evil technomancy himself, Vashtor, for his debut appearance on channel. I thought I was the final boss to your gauntlet, Mubin. Mm, I mostly just wanted to play Vashtor. So this is not officially part of the gauntlet? Not officially part of the gauntlet. Hey, everyone. Mubin again. I am here to play some Chaos Space Marines and test out the new Vashtor model. Big thanks, Games Workshop, for providing us early access to the Wrath of the Soulforged King set. Get to play some word bearers today. List was made by Tycho. I'm curious to see how it works. Haven't played word bearers or Chaos Space Marines yet. This should be fun. Opposing him is Tack with his Adeptus Mechanicus, as it seemed fitting considering Vastor's link to dark technology. Tack Mech. Tac-Mac is here! Tac-Mac is here. To repel Vastor from this forge world, Tac is bringing out the Master of Mars himself, Belisarius Call, a solid force multiplier for the Adeptus Mechanicus. As well as Call, Tac's got a Skitari Marshal and a Techno Archaeologist to lead the disciples of the Omnissiah. Catafront Breachers and Destroyers are now core, so Tac's bringing a healthy amount of both to maximize their effectiveness. They only hit on fours, so getting access to rerolls will make that shooting a lot better. There's a squad of Rangers riding inside a Dune Rider. He's got some Iron Strider Ballastari, an Onager Dune Crawler, a Scorpius Disintegrator, and a mess of Castellan robots with a Cybernetica Datasmith in tow to augment them. That's a lot of firepower. Tac's also taking a flyer. He's got an Archaeopter Stratoraptor, so we could potentially see a dogfight with a bird and a turkey. What? This list in particular is just a shoot, shoot, shoot list. There's a little bit of melee, but for the most part, I need movement to come out into the open and they get blown off the table. The big thing I'm excited about today is getting to run Vashtor. He plays nice with demon engines and he plays angry against vehicles. Mubin has brought a very aggressive Tycho style word bearer list. Everything that can have it has got the mark of Zinch. Vastor is commanding his force and he's chosen a Demon Prince, a Lord Discord, and a Hellstalker, and Master of Possession to also help lead the troops forward. He's got a maximum size squad of Chosen, a Hellbrute, and a squad of Possessed. Those Chosen would be toting the Black Rune of Damnation, making them minus one to be wounded. He's got some Chaos Bikers and a couple Venom Crawlers to give him some fast moving threats, and look for him to use that single Chaos Spawn for a little bit of utility. He's got a pair of Obliterators that can absolutely shoot and punch the way into and out of trouble that'll be coming in most likely from Warp Strike, and he's got a Helldrake, which because of Arcs of Omen, has to start the game now in strategic reserves. Playing Word Bearers, they're pretty aggressive, they want to get in your face, they want to smash face. Our mission today is Data Scry Salvage from the Arcs of Omen Grant Tournament book. Fitting that, Data Scry Salvage? Players will score four points for holding two objectives, four more points for holding three objectives, and four points should they hold more objectives than their opponent. In addition, there's a mission-specific action to score up to an additional three primary points per turn. Four secondaries. Movement has chosen Bring It Down, getting points for killing vehicles of which Tack has a plethora. He's taken the Long War, a Chaos Space Marine secondary that will let him score points for killing units on objectives and for taking objectives that Tack holds. Movement's also taken a Gage at All Fronts. He's going to score points for being in three or four table quarters. With an aggressive list like his, this one does make a lot of sense. Tax shows in the following secondaries, Accretion of Knowledge, an Admech specific secondary that's going to let him score points for killing something with a relic, a warlord trait, or the vehicle keyword, sort of a better bring it down. He's taken Grind Them Down, so he has to kill more units in a single round than Mubin does, and he too has chosen Engage in All Fronts. Those are three seriously aggressive secondaries should make for an interesting kind of game. Breaking news, Art W Studio has released its new painting service website. Here you will find updated and interesting content, blog posts, and everything related to Warhammer and miniature painting. They will share the latest news, they will publish weekly content, the new projects they are working on, and everything that is happening in the studio and in the hobby. You will also find free downloadable resources like this free painting guide about how to choose an impactful color scheme for your army to turn heads. 
Besides their on-demand painting service, here you will also find the different services they offer, such as assembly, basing, freehand, custom-made, and 3D printing. And to make it even easier for you, you can request your quotation very simple and fast. With just a few clicks, you can get a customized quote for your project. Go to artwstudio.com now and discover everything they have for you in their new website. Remember to save this site because every week there will be new and interesting content about Warhammer and miniature painting. Go to artwstudio.com now or click on the link in the description below. It's a pretty full battlefield. Uh, anything that is five inches up is obstructing. However, uh, because this is so big, you can shoot through this hole here. You've got a kind of a get in my face melee focused army. Very um, much so. So you have areas where you can kind of hide and leapfrog into my lines. I'm gonna do my best to shoot anything I can see. Before we start deployment, reserves and transports. I've got a Helldrake. Forced to go into reserves now because it it's is. an aircraft. I also have an aircraft. It has a certain reserves. It's a Stratoraptor. I also have a Dune Rider, and inside the Dune Rider is a 10 man squad of Rangers. So you have to deploy the first unit. We're going to go big. We're going to go bold. We're going to put Vashtor out there first. Ooh. Scorpius Dune Rider that has the Rangers in it. Some bikes. The Techno Archaeologist over here is also a special name character named by a patron, Indiana Throne. And he also allows one Cataphron unit to perform an action and still shoot. So I'm going to take the Possessed, it's a five man squad, and they're going to hide right back here. I'm going up against Tack and his Admech. In deployment, I'm going to have to play this really carefully. I want to be aggressive, but I also don't want to put things out in the open to just get shot off the table right away. Looks like Tack is trying to hide as much as he can. He's really hoping that Moobin pokes his head out to get it shot off. If he goes first, he's not going to be able to score much, but he needs to be mindful of just how much pressure Moobin's list brings and to only engage on his terms. I also have a named character in the special character tier. His name is Master Kiani, but I'm going to call him Master K because knowing me, I'm probably butchering that. My Skitar Marshal, which is a warlord as well as, as a relic, is going to go right down there. The good old Hellbrute. Going first or second here, movement needs to be super aggressive. Admech are not strong in combat, and Vastor is absolutely made to kill vehicles. I wholly expect him to blitz and attack as soon as he is able. For my last drop, it's gonna be the good old Demon Prince. Furs are now gonna go down. So, Belisarius Call is my final drop. I really need to go second. You know what, going first, you can still do some damage. So, you're right, if I do go first, I do actually have shots, so maybe I do want it. Now that I've said it, I'm not gonna get it. We'll see. Four, three, oh, oh apparently I do you go get first. to go first. Uh-oh. Looks like Tax has got first turn. Here we go. Because I do have quite a few shots, I think I'm gonna go full aggro. Ooh. I'm gonna do Benediction of the Omnissiah. One hit reroll, one wound reroll, and one damage reroll. Protector Imperative, it increases my bliss skill by one, okay. but reduces my weapon skill by one. I am gonna start off in Wanton Destruction. Both players tick up to five command points, and Tack gets out his spreadsheet. Here comes the rest of his command phase. This is gonna be a bit of an adventure. In my command phase, I'm going to take my Skitari Marshal. I'm gonna choose the <laughs> Chicken Walkers in the middle here to not have to be duplicated. Techno Archaeologist, Breachers, can perform an action and still shoot. It looks like he's planning to do the mission-specific data scry salvage with that, and I expect him to do this pretty much the entire game. Belisar's call is going to Lord of Mars, the destroyer squad here. They get full rerolls. Oh. That is all of my command phase stuff. Jeebus, that is a lot to remember to do. On a movement phase, and this is a lot easier than the last phase. So basically, it's a wall of guns is what I'm trying to set up here. Let's see if I can get any shots this way. So if they're there. I'm trying to pick up my Hellbrute. Uh, I can't, yeah, but I won't be able to see them. Breachers are gonna perform the mission specific action. Thanks to Indiana Throne, they're still gonna shoot. He's got a few shots lined up here. I'm wondering how much work he can actually do. No psychic phase for the Admech, so we're gonna go straight into the shooting phase. This is where it's gonna hurt. I don't think I have as many targets as I would like. Uh, especially, I don't have the priority targets that I want. 
I'm gonna start with the breachers because they only have a single target, which is the venom crawler. Okay. So they are heavy too. They're hitting on four, so. Any rerolls? I have a Mars reroll and I've got a Canticle reroll. Uh, not good. I've only hit Ooh. twice. So then uh, I do not hit with the Mars reroll. I do not hit with the Canticle reroll. Uh, these weapons always wound vehicles on fours. Ah. No damage. Three plasma destroyers can see the uh, Hellbrute. Two can only see the Venom Crawler. I will supercharge all of it. There are heavy D6, so how many shots do I get? Um, I get uh, 10 shots into the Hellbrute. It's nice knowing you, Brutus. Tack has to be mindful of the few units that Moobin has with the Mark of Zinch. It is so tough to get around that Zinch ignore the first wound. It really forces you to think about what weapons you're gonna use first to try to bait it out so you can hit them with bigger weapons later. You'll survive. You've got uh, minus one incoming damage. Moobin's also got Hexagrammatic Ward in his pocket. That's a word bearer stratagem that'll turn a damage amount into zero and it's usable twice per game. Looking for sixes. I make none. So one of those will go to zero damage. So it takes only three. Fire with the two that can only see the Venom Crawler. Crawler. Same thing, how many shots do I get? Only five. Hitting on fours. Nope. Rerolling because they are Lord of Mars. Five up invuls though, because Demon Engine. Uh, I make one fail one. So you take two damage. How do you want to elect Frenzy? I will. Movement retaliating from his Hellbrute with Fire Frenzy and that takes him down to four command points targeting those castle and robots. Uh, hit one. Demon Prince is close enough. Reroll the one. Nope, just the one. He wounds. That's a two. D6 from the Melta. Only three. Okay. Go down to uh, four wounds. This chicken walker, the auto cannon can see the venom crawler, and then the last cannon can see the helper. Really? You're really embracing your inner Nick and split firing here. I didn't give you much option. No, you didn't give me much option. The venom crawler. Reroll one with the marshal. Yep. It's the canticle reroll. Uh, so that's another one. So uh, four I've gone through. So looking for fours. I uh, make two, fail two. So that is four damage. Down to three wounds. And then last cannon. Tack is really trying to down that melt to hell brute. Can't blame him. Those melt guns are scary. Ooh. Movement spends a command point on hexagrammatic ward. There it is to ignore one of those last cannons down to three command points. Hexagrammatic ward lets me block one shot, one incoming shot. I can stop it, but I can only use it twice per game. And this is the first one. Sixes. Nope. It adds to six though. This is D3 plus three damage. I still might be able to knock you out if I roll high you enough. You gotta roll perfect. Tack needs a five or a six for the Hellroot to die on his damage That's roll. Yes! <laughs> Benediction of the Omnisci roll. Don't do it, Tack. Don't go. do it. He's got a Mars reroll. Yeah! Uh, and he does it. Brutus, no. This one Nick's always looking forward to. Does it explode? Does it explode for Nick? And it explodes! <laughs> oh my God, explode. come on. <laughs> he exploded. Yeah! Everything around him is gonna take one mortal wound within three inches. So that means it's gonna be the Venom Crawler chosen. Disco Lord. Mm -hmm. However, I get to ignore them on fives. Disco Lord, ignored. The Chosen, ignored. Ooh. Venom Crawler. So not only does uh, it do crawler. extra damage around it, but Tack gains three points of accretion of knowledge for killing a vehicle that's over eight wounds. The Honor of Doom Crawler is now gonna fire. Yep. I'm gonna split fire again. So my stubbers are going into the bikes and then the big neutron laser will go into bash door. Into the bikes. Split firing now, trying to down as much as possible and thin the wave that will Threes. be crashing into him shortly. Not a three. It takes away another mark as each. D3 shots from the yep. uh, neutron laser. One. Neutron laser shots re-rolled for a command point, taxed out a four. Two, two. Uh, both hit. Uh, they both win. Four up in balls. I make one, fail one. So five becomes four, so he will go down to 10. Yes. Scorpius Disintegrator into the bikes. Do the blind fire. So this is blind fire, so 3d3 shots. Almost Ooh. max. Hitting on threes. Going to fours. Going to blind fours, fire. going back to threes because of the canticle. Or sorry, the doctrina. Gotcha. Yep. And I only make two of them. So that kills one bike. No, not a bike. Because there are two damage each. Two. Robots will go into the Venom Crawler. One robot is going to go into the Chosen. If I don't do enough wounds, you've got psychic spells that can bring them back. So this I may do. be very inconsequential. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Don't split fire. All right, looking for fives. I make neither. 
Down to one? Down to one. This Venom Crawler lives with one wound. You kill one of them. No. I, I, I'm gonna guess I know where your heal's going. Obviously there. Yeah. Four points and four command points for Tack with one kill towards grind them down. Pretty sure Vastor can get moving a kill here, so he should be able to stop Tack from scoring that. Four command points. Uh, I get a five command points. Hooray! I did not do enough that turn. That didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Now, it's time to punch back. Command phase shenanigans. Vastor is going to use his command phase ability to make the Venom Crawler next to him. Plus one to hit. Disco Lord is going to buff the Venom Crawler next to him and actually get plus one to hit in melee. So everyone's hitting everything better. Neener, 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 neener. On to his movement phase. Venom crawlers heal up a wound and the spawn goes for a run. Ooh, he goes fast. I have to be very careful with my movement here because I want to move out. I want to move up, but I also need to take objectives while also not exposing my entire army to all the shooting from the admech. Demon Prince is going to perform the action on the home objective. Okay. Uh, mostly because nothing's really benefiting from his reroll one aura right now anyway. The guy with the big sword and claws is looking for data. I think I found something, guys. Don't know what it is, but I found something. Pact of Flesh from the Master of Possession onto the Chosen. See if I can bring him back. Wow, what a surprise. I did. And then for his second power, he's going to use Mutated Invigoration on the healthier of the two Venom Crawlers. He gets that with a nine. He'll actually get both strength and toughness. On to shooting. Uh -oh. Venom Crawler number one. The two wound Venom Crawler shoots into the destroyers and manages to kill one. That Venom Crawler's done shooting. Next Venom Crawler. Venom Crawler fires into the breachers now and down goes another one. I lose one and one has one wound remaining. Vastor has a flamethrower hand claw yeah, thing. It's, it's very... Not good, but yeah, go for it. Vastor flames that Iron Strider and does three wounds. I uh, take them all. And now I need you to finish off with the bikes. No. Yes. No. I have one charge to make. Charge face now. This is big for Mubin. Vastor needs a nine inch charge as he must go down and over. He cannot fly straight at that target. Oh, he wants it. He's in. Bikes follow up as well, just to make sure to double down on that objective. Yeah, they'll make it. Zoom. With your charges, you've got two units into my Dragoons who are probably not long for this world. Vashtor has some Dragoons that he's gonna try and punch out. Actually, he's gonna hammer them. So I got seven attacks with them. Hitting on twos. Nope. Uh, <gasps> dragoons are always minus one hit. You are hitting on threes. I'm hitting on threes, but I'll wound you on twos. There's that, yes. There is that. Yeah. But really, I'm looking for the five up. <sighs> I know. Those mortals. I know. Sweet, sweet mortals. If you could do me a favor here and do me a favor. No. Oh. <laughs> Vastra, I see, dropped quite a few hits. I might actually survive this. Twos? I want fives, though. I didn't roll a single five, but I wounded with three of them. They're only AP two, three damage each. I have my five up in bonds. All of them, all of them. You make two? Two of them. But the one that's in combat's dead, which is, I guess, kind of good for you. Does it explode? <gasps> Don't do it. Give me a mortal wound. Nope. The only Dragoon that dies keeps the bikes from being able to pile and consolidate, and there's no point throwing them away by just touching up those other Dragoons. That means Vastor standing in the open is a big, big target. I think he's in trouble. A lot of magical things happen with that Dragoon squad surviving. Pulled out of combat, yes, I lose that objective, but Vashtor and those bikes are no longer protected against my shooting. Secondly, Mubin didn't kill a single model that turn. That means I score grind them down. Had he stopped that grind them down, he'd actually be in the lead, but with those three points, that gives tax seven to Mubin's five at the end of turn one. Heading into turn two, everything is now in range of my guns. I've got a lot of firepower to weather in turn two from Tack. I know my army's tough, they can survive, and then I'm going to be in his face. It's Doctrina and Canticle time. 
Attacks using Bulwark Imperative. He's going to get plus one to his saving throw, but minus three inches to move on his Kitari. Canticle of the Electromancer is going to make his units minus one to be hit in melee as well. No primary for Tack. Movement has stopped that with some solid objective play, so we sit at seven to five as we go to Tack's second command phase. Belisarius Call is going to Lord of Mars, Catacron Destroyers. Call is using Lead and Prayer to change those Castellans back to the benediction of the Omnissiah from turn one, and that's going to put Call in it as well. The Skitari Marshal tells that Onager to be able to fall back and shoot. Indiana Throne lets the Breachers action and shoot this turn. So now we move in, move in phase. Your favorite phase. Yeah, it's the movement phase. Movement phase now, and it's time to make some play for some points. I need a big turn here. This is probably going to be my last chance where a lot of my guns are free to maximize my damage. Can Tack get enough shots on Vashtor to bring him down with a four up and minus one all damage? It could be tough. Dodge the greater. Move, move. And again, I'm only moving very short distances here. This character can only move three. Wow. Tack has placed his Stratoraptor down very aggressively right into Moobin's back corner to force him to turn around and deal with it. I like this. Techno Archaeologist in the Throne is going to try to heal the Breacher. Uh, for two, so he's Good. back to full. The Cybernetic Data Smith is going to try to heal the robots. That is a large oh one. Oh my god, Tag. All that work from Brutus. Can I say the same thing about what you've been doing? Then the Cybernetic Data Smith at the end of the moon phase also is going to do field reprogramming. It's going to move their protocol. So right now they're in Aegis Protocol. At the end of my next command phase, they're going to go to a three plus Blizzard skill. I don't like that. The Honor Doom Caller is going to start the festivities. It's going to be eight shots from the Stubbers, because it's got two of them, okay. into the spawn. And it's going to do Neutron Laser into Vastor. Shooting phase now, and the spawn has taken damage, but doesn't die, so it goes back to full wounds. Neutron Laser, punish Vastor. Nope, that's full. Oh, Mars reroll. I still fail it. String 12, so I'm winning on threes. Yep. Oh. Only one. Command point reroll, and he still fails. Down to five command points remaining. Four, Four up. up in Vaughn. That's a three. Mubin also rerolls his failed save, but still fails there. Down to four command points. Four. Oh, so Four he's going to take five damage. Yeah. The Dune Rider is now going to fire. It's going to go everything into the bikes. Off the shots. Yeah. Threes. Uh, oh, wow. wow. You lost a bike. Marcus Inch. Oh, right, Marcus Inch. One of the bikers has a single wound left. Two robots, unwounded one. One yeah, robot try to is going to try to finish that off. Can anyone fours? I only get one through. Does he fail it? He does not. It's a four. Ooh, Venom Crawler standing in strong. Now the two are going into the other one. This is AP1. Fours. Nope. Take two damage. New two damage. Destroyers now fire into the Venom Crawler. Okay, so pl the three plasmas here, and then one is shooting everything into him. Here, I need uh, a lot of shots. Just one. Two. Yes. Always supercharge. Always be supercharging. Uh, they both hit. So wounding on threes. They both wound. Five ups. I rolled two threes. He's very dead. Does he explode? Oh, down goes a Venom Crawler. That's three more points on accretion of knowledge. Uh, other destroyers, all their plasma is going into the other Venom Crawler that remains now. So how many shots do I get? Hitting on fours. Uh, we're rolling. So on fours. Yep. Five up in balls. I make one fail two. Okay, so you take four damage. Four damage. He is down to three. Uh, Split firing with Breachers. No, that's the wrong call to make. I have to dedicate. Tire Breacher Squad is gonna go into the Venom Crawler. No rerolls over there, but they're angry. And then now looking for fours, even though it's a string six weapon against a vehicle, it always wins on fours. I feel both. He doesn't go boom. Second Venom Crawler down. Scorpius Disintegrator is now going to need to blind fire uh, over the top of this building into the bikes. And then all the other weapons are gonna go into the back door. For three shots. They're okay. okay. Uh, Yay, bikes! Magic missile. Only one shot. Magic missile. It you does hit. hit. String seven into T7, T7, so fours. That's a one. Going to the bow story now. Auto cannons are gonna go into your bikes. And the two last cannons are gonna go into Vash door. No. Oh. Auto cannons are going into the bikes. Mm -hmm. We're rolling once for the uh, marshal. String seven. 
Because of the Relic, he can reroll once a wound as well on core. So that is all five. Four ups, go bikers. Do you make them all? I'm failed two. You kill a bike and another one goes down to one. And then here's the uh, the big one. Here's the Vash Thor. Oh. Four last counting shots. I fail one, but yep. I reroll. Yep. It's gonna hurt. Oh no. Is that a fail? Mm hmm I have minus one damage. You need another five or six. He's gonna be alive with one. He's gonna live with one. No, he's not. Chicken no, revenge. No chicken. Oh no. Yes! He's down to two. The bike's at one. Vastor is at two. I'm tickling everything, but nothing is dying outright. I think I'm down to just a fire at this point. Everything into your master position. Stubbers first. He's okay. Still has the mark. So wounding on threes with the phosphor. Yep. Five ups. I make two. Mark of each one of them. Down to four wounds left. It's time for the hexagrammatic ward. So I will spend one command point to hexagrammatic ward and get rid of one of those last cannon shots. Of course he's gonna hexagrammatic ward away one of those uh, last cannons. So I need both my last cannons to go through. Oh, don't let me do this okay. here. Uh, they both hit. That's two both. Which means I have a single save to make mm -hmm. on a five up. Yep. He makes yes. it, he makes it. That is absolutely massive, and that Stratoraptor has a Demon Prince in his face, ready to charge him. So now I get to declare uh, charges. Charges! Uh, chicken Walkers into Vashtor. are going to go into Vashtor and the bike. See if I make my charge. I don't know if I can count on my tasers taking down Vashtor, but what I can count on is Mortal Wounds. Tax using crushing weight on his Chicken Walkers here, the Sidonian Dragoons, takes him down to four command points. For the models that end up in engagement range, on a two up, you take Mortals. Two ops more of uh, Astro dies. Ones. Ones. Just. Oh, two just. To six. It's just one mortal wound each. One mortal wound each. Vashtar goes down to mortals. Oh, wow. And I feel a little guilty about that. One, because we can't really show them off anymore. Two, I painted them. And uh, I guess Vashtar fell to the newly painted curse. Bikes go down to the Dragoons. That's another kill for Tack. Big turn for Tack here. He has really laid a smackdown on Mubin and managed four kills. However, the Obliterators and a Helldrake are still to come in, and Tack sits at 17 points to Mubin's five. However, Mubin can basically pin Tack in his zone with some choice movement and charges here. Let's see what he brings. No primary for the Moobmeister here, but I expect that's going to start changing pretty quick. Have to get in his face and shut that shooting down. Go, Chaos Spawn, go. You're going to go fight that drone crawler and you're going to win. On to turn two movement phase, and here come the bearers of the word. The 41st millennium of door-to-door -door evangelism is on its way. Have you heard the word, Tack? Have you heard the word? And I'm going to have the obliterators come down on that objective on the far side. Helldrake and Obliterators are in, and in a somewhat defensive play here. It looks like he's going to try to clear his home and then bring the pain, but that's not going to get him any engaged on front point. Into the Psychic phase, Master of Possession is going to start by trying to heal himself. Just try to get rid of some of that damage that he took. He's okay, barely. Getting close to those perils, though. He's going to use Mutated Invigoration on the Helldrake. He gets that with a 7. He's actually going to have T8. And then the Demon Prince, he's just gonna smite. He does with a nine to D3, does the full three mortal wounds. So I'm down to seven. Into the shooting phase, Dragon tosses Bale Flamer into the robots. Helldrake flames the Castellans for only one wound. Disco Lord next. He's gonna toss his Bale Flamer into the Breachers, because the Breachers are a pain. Ooh. Lord Discordant has managed to kill a Breacher. So I will be using the Ruinous Salvo from the Flesh Metal Guns on the Obliterators, and I'm going to drop them into the Destroyers. Into the Destroyers. It's D3 plus three for each of them. Did you max shots? I maxed oh. shots. Be good, Obliterators! Oh, oh. God. Threes, do the how, thing! How angry are these guys? Oh, Apparently they're, very angry. They're angry. That is the best rolling I think I've ever seen you do. It is AP2, two damage, eight wounds. Squad wipe? Probably. Yeah. Let's see how many I survive. Oh, you got one. The obliterators do eight wounds into the destroyers and leaves one on one wound. Shooting's on there, shooting's on there, on to charges. Charge phase now, and the prince is into the Stratoraptor. Possessed into the Stellans. 
possessed being overwatched here by the Castellans. It could do some work. Uh, nope, take that one. So it's two, two damage. So you're down to one. The robots. See if the obliterators gonna try for the nine inch charge. Oh no, the obliterators have failed their charge. Movement is contemplating a reroll here, and he's choosing to save it in case his chosen fail their charge. I don't know. I might want to get those guys in quick and clean those castellans up. Lord Discordant, we measured it out. He has a five inch charge into the chickens. Five. Yeah, that's, that's an eight. Chaos spawn into the Dune Crawler. Dune Crawler? Dune Crawler. Dune Crawler. Whee! And this is the one I saved my command reroll for. I mean, you only need a six. I only need a six. Chosen going into those dragoons. Oh! oh that you know right there is why I saved <laughs> that command reroll. Down to three command points because that charge failed. Color me wrong. He was right to save it. And he just barely gets in with a six. I think Moomin likes dramatics. There's some chickens to smash. No, sorry, I'm not gonna use chickens. There's some dragoons to smash. Shows are gonna start the fight phase as Tack can interrupt. Only six are gonna get in, but that could do it. Spending two command points on veterans of the long ward to gain plus one to wound. Plink! Plink! Plink. Down. Oh no. You only make one. I uh, made two. Down goes a dragoon and takes the other down to two wounds with an explosion. One CP left for movement. That's gonna earn you two for long war. So your veterans of the long war just earned you a long war. Yeah. So you're in for a real <clears throat> long war? We're in for a real long war. Spawn bounces off the Otiger and just messes up its paint and gets it a little ooey gooey. Lord Discordant next. First of all, hitting on twos and rerolling because my plus one minus one. Then I'm going to be wounding on threes because he goes to strength six, but he also gets a plus one to wound when he charges. And then he gets an extra damage on all his attacks because your vehicles. This is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. And then wounding on threes. Yep. Make a lot. I make two. All right, so just three damage. The bladed limbs and claws. Same thing, twos rerolling. No wounds. Okay. And then mecha tendrils. But can he actually do any wounds? I've got Bulwark Imperative on right no, now. two ups. I have two here. ups. Just take the two damage each. Huh? No. You're telling me I'm alive. I don't know how. Lord Discordant fails to even kill one. That is unbelievable. This isn't really going to make me feel better, but the possess. You really need to go out. Oh, come on. I needed whatever the next wonton is. Fives. The possessed go into the castellans now, and no joy. Oh my, this is not going well. He has two wounds remaining. Demon Prince, make me feel better. Only three. At AP three, three damage each. Two goes to fives. The saving roll, I got one. Uh, he's got one wound remaining. I still have a single claw attack. Do it, buddy. He does wounds. it. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, my chaff launcher still works. You actually have three wounds left. If you do one more, it actually brackets me. Stratoraptor tanks the Demon Prince. Are you kidding me? Tax spends a command point on Chain Taser Protocols to try and thin those Legionnaires. Takes him down to four command points. Hitting on threes, but fives and sixes will explode. So I started with four attacks. I ended up with six attacks. Twos go away because of the background. Fives. I make two of them. So one's alive with one wound. One's alive with one wound. Castellans kill a possessed. Good grief. I still fail too. I guess I called the right canticle and doctrina. The canticle for minus one to hit and the doctrina for plus one armor. I survived melee with word bears. You owe me a oh, morale, I, sir. I do owe you a morale. Servidors actually pass morale. And at two complete turns here, folks. And I told you this was gonna be a barn burner. We've got a score of 20 to eight in favor of tack, but not for very long. Part of turn three, I'm going to go into Wanton Slaughter. Going into turn three, I don't have a lot of my offensive canticles and doctrinas left. I'm gonna really need to think about what to do here to try to claim those objectives again, because I'm really losing hard on the primary game. Incantation of the Iron Soul, he's gonna ignore combat attrition and get a save versus mortals. No primary again for Tack. If I can't score it, neither can you. Keeping the game close. Calls giving out rerolls to the Castellans and then shifts them to the Litany of the Electromancer so they're gonna be minus one to hit in combat. Indiana Throne, the Techno Archaeologist, gives those Breachers the ability to shoot in action, so they're gonna Data Scry again. It's such a great option, especially in this mission. Program Retreat is gonna let those Dragoons fall back and still shoot. That is super unfortunate for Moobin and the Lord Discordant. 
Disco Lord didn't do the work he needed to, and now he's in the middle of a lot of shooting. Big question here now in the movement phase, is movement gonna be able to weather the upcoming shooting phase? All of my rangers are going to get out of the transport. At the end of the movement phase, I'm going to start to do some heals. So going into the shooting phase now, I might as well do the big one. Rangers are shooting now. Two command points on Galvanic Volley Fire, one command point on Wrath of Mars for another command point. He's got a two left. I dropped a bunch. Typically wounding on fours become fives because of your black rune. Black rune? But I need uh, sixes here. Yep. Ooh, okay. So 10 saves at AP1. Yeah, so I feel five. One will get eaten up by Mark of Zinch. Five more ones. Looking for five ups against those. I uh, only block one. And he's managed to take down three chosen. Good. Destroyer is going to uh, overcharge. Hitting on fours. I will Mars reroll. roll. Right. Just roll one. I do. <laughs> so I take a wound and I don't hit you. Now I'll go with the boat. Three no AP. Three ups. Oh, I filled one. So this is about story. Firing into the Lord Discordant. Let's see if I can get around Marcus Zinch with the auto cannon first. So hitting on threes. Three, but uh, my marshal's nearby. So I got four. Threes. Uh, I still fail two. One will take off the Mark of Zinch and then it's two damage. Last cannons. Smoke the Lord Discordant. Movement fails both saves from last cannons. He's gonna reroll and he fails. Down to one command point, and the Disco Lord still goes down. Three more accretion of knowledge points for Tack. Lord Discordant finally goes down. That's a lot of pressure off of my front line. Onager into the spawn's face with the stubbers. Can't kill him, ruh -roh, and the Neutron Laser can't fire because it's blast. I completely forgot that the Neutron Laser has the blast keyword. I should have fallen the Onager Doomcrawler out of combat against the Possessed. Shooting into combat with Castle and Robots hasn't really done well for me in the past. We'll see how it goes against these Possessed. Castellans go into the possessed now. Attack has managed to kill four of the five. What the heck is happening? Is this bizarro world? Breachers fire to the remains of the chosen. I feel both. That'll eat up one. Yeah, and one's got one wound remaining. The disintegrator is going to put everything into the. Scorpius disintegrator shusting away now. Chosen are just taking a beating. I will charge the cybernetic data smith at the lone. Possessed. Possessed. New. No. Cybernetic Data Smith charges into the possessed. You gotta love a 35 point character with a power fist and three damage pistol. Okay, so that's the only charge you've got. Fight phase. So he has a total of two attacks. Fours. I will Mars. And Mars will help me. Nope. Five up pinball. Not a five up pinball. Okay. Two so damage. Two damage. He has a wound left. Alive with one. What's left of the possessed slap back? If two of these go through, he's dead. Do it, do it, do it! Yes! Oh, oh, that's command pointable. And Tack rerolls the failed saves. He lives! Come on! <laughs> but the possessed go down to the Castellans. Chosen succeed the morale roll because leadership 10 is a thing. I mean, I guess if you live inside a warp terror hole as a chaos marine, you get used to seeing weird stuff. And attacks turn three. We sit at 26 to eight for Tack, but Mubin is about to score 12 on primary. <laughs> It had to swing eventually with the primary back and forth game, and it looks like it just did and hard. Well played, Mubin. That, well played. That worked out really nicely. The question is, is he going to be able to maximize this and shut Tack out for the rest of the game? Heldrick is going to drop to hover. Yeah, he's just going to scooch up to there, which means Master Possession goes to here. Demon Prince only could get to here anyways. He's gonna data scry at the end of the movement phase and then onto the psychic phase. Psychic phase now, packed to flesh, heals one of the chosen and brings one of them back from 18 inches away. For his second power, smite. I'm just gonna try and smite this plane down. Second power, smite. Does that fail? I'm not gonna spend my command point there because I know what I'm gonna spend those two command points for. On to shooting. I'm gonna start with the obliterators because they will decide how things go. So I'm gonna spend two command points for veterans of the long war. And I'm going to 
go with their focused malice. Strength nine, AP three, four damage flat. So number of shots, big. Turns to the long war for two command points on the obliterators to make them wound on twos. And he has wiped the squad unless tack rerolls to save on a five. Yes. Up. No. Ah. All right, you wipe the squad. Obliterators, obliterate. I've never, ever had an entire squad of robots go down in a single attack. That is rough. They don't explode, do they? Uh, of course they do. Come on, yes! Oh no! So he only takes a mortal wound. I uh, shrug it. Dang it, you shrug it. The Chosen are gonna try and take down the bird. The Chosen try to shoot down the plane and fail? Not a single one? Not a single one. Uh, you know what, I did that right here. Haldrake fails to kill the plane. What is happening? So, charges. You're gonna win this game on just knocking me off objectives. Yep. I'm gonna go for the easy charge first. Yeah. Chosen into the I wave dragoon. my stick incredibly angry at you. I rolled a two, which is <laughs> just enough to get in. They stumble in with a two. So, Heldrake is going to multi-charge into the Rangers and the Flyer. Charge. He gets a seven. seven. Yep, that's one more than you needed. Heldrake, because this is an easy one. All into the flyer? All into the flyer, because I just need it dead. Would you kindly just fit again? Sprite dice. No! Movement gets two more, bring it down. Onto Chosen. Okay. 21 attacks, re-rolling, all hits. Of course I'm gonna fail two of these. Yeah, I fail uh, way more than two? So you're just cleaning up house here. Here's the death and destruction that we were all expecting. That's what we were hoping for. Yeah. What an absolute swing of a turn. Mubin leads now with a score of 29 to 26. Now that's what I expected from word bearers. That's the carnage I was expecting. Mubin is doing such a good job at finding those points. He's now in the lead and I've got a hill to climb. I've still got a lot of assets on the table. I think I can do it. This is gonna to continue to be a very bloody and very close battle. Turn four, Tack gets four on primary to make our score 30 to 29 in his favor, and both players have a command point. Time to dish out command phase stuff. Onager gets to fall back and shoot. Invocation of the machine vengeance. Tack's gonna have extra dice on advances and charges. You see a path to victory here. I've gotta take out those chosen though. So long as movement has forward pressure and so long as movement holds these objectives, there is no way for me to win. Rangers fall back from the Heldrake, lets him try to take it down this turn. If he can, that's really going to put movement on the back foot and might spell his doom. The Techno-Archaeologist is going to data scry onto the objective. Going into the shooting phase, Call will fire into the Vitorators, so it's an assault weapon. So it gets two shots. Both hit, General Omnissiah. Yep. So that is two wounds. Invuls on obliterators. Uh, nope, fail both. Kill one of them. So destroyer, we'll go into him. Supercharge. Ooh, that destroyer takes the last oblet down to one wound. This is Rider. the Dune Rider, the transport. Dune Rider firing into the obliterators and chosen. So, but you have a two up. So this is saving in the obliterator. Looking for twos. You got the one. Oblet rolls a one to save. Oh no. Movement spends his last command point to save him and he does, but he's out of command points. When you're on fives, because you still got that stupid rune. Do we just call it the rune of Dammit Mubin now? So nothing happened there. Yay, nothing happened to the Chosen. Oh my. Every single shot from this tank is gonna go into the Chosen. Tack manages to strip the Marquezine shot the Chosen and gets a kill. Breachers are going to go into the... They drop two. Fours because of Dammit Mubin. Fours because of Dammit Mubin. Breachers go in now and two more of them drop. Oh. Not a single one. Auto cannon into that, and then the last cannons are going to go into the turkey, because what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping to kill them with a charge. Oh, down goes the obliterator. That is really unfortunate, as the master possession could heal him and replace the dead one should he have lived. Four last, last cannons. cannons into the Heldrake. Oh boy, no minus one to hit. I filled one. Five up in balls. Nope. How many wounds you have left? 11. 11. You got a max. All right, max. Nope. 10, Ten damage. Yeah. A single wound left. I need to knock you off objectives. So the Doom Crawler is going to put everything in, into the spawn. 
Onager downs the Chaos Spawn. Breachers charge the Chosen. This could be a game changer right here. And then I'm gonna need to make a long charge here because I'm gonna try to kick you to death. Oh my God. <laughs> They're in. It's, uh, yeah. Breach is gonna breach. Yeah. Hitting on fours though. Oof. I only dropped three? three? What? what? I oh. still got Mars. Yep. I dropped two. Wow. All wow. of them. All of them. The Breachers clear the Chosen. What in the actual H-E double hockey sticks is happening here? Are you kicking my hell, Drake? <laughs> Give me a few. No! No! You got none? Looks like Tag and Movement are discussing the game state and what could actually happen here, and they're gonna call it there. Unfortunately, I know I can't do any more. I think this is where I have to concede. Well played, Tag. It was a hard fought battle and it was an absolute blast. That's it, that's all folks. 45 to 66, including paint scores for your winner, Tack and the Adeptus Mechanicus. Movement kept the game incredibly close for a lot of it. He was denying me points everywhere he could, keeping the game within striking distance for him. Dice tell stories, and today the story was victory for the disciples of the Omnissiah. That's it, folks. If you enjoyed what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing to help us make more cool content, or even head over to our Patreon and check out all the behind the scenes and patron specific live streams and series. Thanks again to this episode's sponsor, Arc W Studio. Be sure to check out their new paint service website where you'll find updated and interesting content, blog posts, everything related to Warhammer and miniature painting you can imagine. Plus, you can even get a quote right from there. Moving out a pretty bad mid game where his damage just wasn't there. If it was, this could have easily gone the other way. I think we need a rematch, Tack. We gotta try this again and let's see what Vashtor is really capable of. From all of us here at Play on Tabletop, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time you see us in the far-flung future of a grimdark universe, play on! Uh, is this spawn completely on the table? It looks like it's off by a bit. That was JT, by the way, not me. You get this faraway expression on your face whenever JT talks to you. I'm editing, it'll He's be He's just hearing the voices in his head. What's the matter, Nick? Don't you hear the voices too?